Yeah, how's it going, guys? Out in the garage for two minutes. We have to work on a generator. Tomorrow night, we're going to Lodi to record this house to work on the 50 Plymouth. It's having a charging system issue. And I'll be the first one to tell you, generators are before my time. This car had a generator. Had. <laughs> so, um, his is a typical six volt system. It's a 1950. It's a six volt system, positive ground. And it runs an eight volt battery. So, if I'm not mistaken, what he said was is it wasn't charging. Uh, he changed the voltage regulator. He polarized the generator and he's got eight volts or something coming out so my question is is and the regulator is ticking so what i have to do is go over there and make sure that it's putting out eight volts and he's not getting battery voltage in his readings so i gotta remember uh he should have a voltmeter but i'll make sure so the question is 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 it charging and what's the deal with the uh regulator so i'm not sure which wood he has in his, I guess I'll know when I get there, that car's a pain in the ass to work on. With that hood that you can't really get your head under. So, well, hopefully we don't have to get to the point where we gotta make adjustments to the regulator. I think he actually has a second regulator. So, I'll know tomorrow, more tomorrow night. I'm definitely gonna bring the camera. We're bringing little guy, and we're bringing uh, the guy Aaron from work. So, and I already explained to all three of these people that generators were before my time so i'd love to learn i just need uh someone to show me they know how they work but you know what i mean the tricks of the trade i know you put them in i know you got to polarize them i know you're supposed to polarize them when you disconnect the battery but they don't charge i know the way a regulator works so yeah this one right here we still got the regulator in here. I've showed you guys this. I put it back in. With the adjustment knob. Push the polarize. We're polarized. And I'm posting a cool picture on Facebook of this car with the nose off. Right before Junior sanded it. So, I think that's cool. Uh, I haven't found any pictures yet of him sanding it, which I know I have. I just haven't found them yet. So, okay, guys. Look forward to a video, uh, I guess, Thursday. Because tomorrow's Wednesday, and I'm time I get back from there. So, with that, I'll talk to you guys later. And we'll start off with some potentially good news, considering everything around here seems to be bad news. So creep your fingers crossed, we might have a place to keep this all of December, January, February, and all of March. If that's the case, you know what's going to be in here. And I'll just let Junior knock it out. So that'd be sweet to roll that car out in the spring. So, and I ain't even worried about putting that in. I'm talking about the body, what he wants to do. So, um, I'm also told now that the shape of the fender for a 79 and up the actual body lines and shape is the same for the 78 concord except way you screw the headlight mount to is different and it could be swapped over see nobody ever told me that before because 79 and newer fenders you can find anywhere 78 fenders and and I'm still looking for a fender before I make a commitment on doing the body work on his left side fender So uh, I have a line on actually a pair of fiberglass fenders if you can believe it So but that's probably not gonna pan out. They're either, either gonna be too much money or too much money to ship They're halfway across the country So and if they're really like cheesy race fenders, then there's, there's no sense But uh, <clears throat> I'll entertain it See what the deal is and uh, he was the one who told me about modifying the bucket for the uh, headlight. Now, if I had the new offender here and I have Junior's old offender, I could put them side by side and tell you what the difference is. But that's all new to me. But I guess we're all going to learn together, guys. So, that's it. 
I'll talk to you later.